Ron has come down from Burlington, and he's recording this right now. And the reason Norma Jean and I are at the bank, we want to do something major for this challenge of the new channels, worldwide channels, uh, that Don Simmons, our chief executive officer, who's a member of the Telecommunications Hall of Fame, I, uh, an entrepreneur who started uh, several businesses in the high-tech field, uh, uh, the former uh, president of, of a... Uh, of a, one of Canada's chartered banks, probably the most qualified person to lead us into the future I know yes. of. And we were so challenged by Don and also challenged by our special guest that you're hearing every day over the next couple of weeks, particularly last Friday as Jim Canelon uh, introduced uh, our special guest uh, of this month. And uh, uh, we're here at the bank uh, and we'll be going in there shortly and Ron will be heading back. But he's doing this on an iPhone. It's, it's not the big television equipment we used to have to do. Now, when we did Circle Square, we had to go into the studios. We went, in fact, to Ottawa, CGOH Television Ottawa. And uh, out of that week of fasting and prayer, following that sergeant of Ham Hamilton police saying the average age of the lawbreaker, minor things, yes, but 12 years of age. And then hearing Josh McDowell say it's 12 years now where children are making the decision and the church is only retaining maybe three or four percent of of these young people throughout their teenage years. Uh, now is the time we've got to do something. Well, you and I went to the bank out of that week of fasting and prayer in Hamilton, and we took a second mortgage on our house. And I knew I couldn't just go to the board with no money and say we want to do a children's program, but we borrowed ten thousand dollars, and I laid the check on the table. And the moment I saw Ray Edwards, who was an MLA for Hamilton Mountain, reach over, he was our treasurer, pick up the check, I knew we had a children's television ministry. Now, that's over 40 years ago. And things have changed dramatically, not just in 40 years, but in 10 years, yes. five years. And, and the whole world, in fact, Josh McDowell mentioned about the young people uh, in church. And Jim Canelon said, yes, I've seen them uh, with their iPhones while I'm preaching. And they're checking up on, on what I'm saying and to make sure I'm saying the truth. And that is true, too. Yes. But Josh said we have evidence that a number of them would have been watching pornography while sitting in church. Grandma and grandpa, great grandma, great grandpa, mom and dad, are you going to let that go on without a challenge? Now, with Circle Square, Ron, who's holding that iPhone right now and videotaping this, he was he responded with the uh, you know the duplicated over 50,000 children that wrote circle square in the first 6 months that we were on the air 40 years ago over 40 years ago and uh, they're out there i remember an owner of a hotel in Saskatchewan i went in for lunch and she came running out with her little tattered circle square songbook one of those songbooks that you sent out or that you did the duplication rental your brother helped you as well and, you, and the girls were there helping also and uh, uh, opened up to the back and showed me where she'd signed her name like the children used to do in, in grade five when they could still distribute Bibles in the schools. They'd sign the back of the Gideon Bible. Well, she had signed the back. She was one of those over 50,000. She said, it, I was watching for about two or three months when I decided to get a songbook so I could sing along with the children. But that no longer works. That television is, is passing by. And, and you're watching. I'm thankful for that. But the, the, stats, the, say, yeah. Yeah, the mm -hmm. stats say that over 60% of the information people yes. receive now comes from the Internet. Yes. And television, radio, newspapers, magazines, books account for about 40%. You, you know, Josh McDowell mentioned uh, Justin Martyr uh, in, last Friday. They beheaded him for his faith in the Lord Jesus. And he was 65 years old when, when he was beheaded. I, I, I just, people through the centuries have sacrificed so greatly. And I'm going to ask you to sacrifice now, mom and dad, and grandma and grandpa, and great grandma and great, would you do the largest gift you've ever given to the work of God, that Crossroads will be able to communicate, this new Crossroads TV, around the world with up to seven internet channels. They want to launch on October the 1st. And, and Don Simmons, I was talking to him this morning on the telephone. He said, we're about one-third of the way toward our goal. 
at, at, which was 850,000, I believe. So they're about one third of the way before the end of August. Would you do your very best? Norma Cheetah and I are going to the bank. We're going to do our best. I'm going to ask you to do your best and go to the phone right now and make it happen. Darling, this is the most serious moment, I yes. believe, of our entire lives. Yes. Thank you.